Fish boy DJ get him saying I keep telling y'all man these shark savages keep proving that they're ruthless and heartless even more and more as the days go by. Now the war in Chirac has been raging for a couple of years strong. We've seen a lot of people, a lot of fallen soldiers on the battlefield, a lot of block legends that had to retire their jersey. But now, this next Chirac Savage, he, he's earning my respect by the day, even though he's doing a lot of fucked up shit, but his name is P. Rico, Puerto Rico. Now, whatever the fuck his real name is, you know what, matter of fact, he's, he's gonna be the fucking Vegeta of Chirac, that's, that's what I'm fucking with, he's the fucking Vegeta, he's a nigga that he just never goes away. Apparently everybody want to kill him, but nobody has heard him. He's been chilling, and he's always on the lookout for Kakarot, a.k.a. Little Reese, the Grim Reaper. Now, anyway, apparently he posted up on Twitter. He said, listen, man, I'm smoking on the sky. And he posted up a picture of him holding what would seem to be a new ski pack. Now, if you're not... Um, in tune with the Chirac vernacular, this might be your first Chirac or Warren Chirac series video, uh, a, a pack, right? Or I usually call it a coon pack, is after you're within the Warren Chirac, which is basically the Hunger Games, you're given a gun. At birth, you're given a gun, you're given a map of Chirac, you're given a location preliminary of where the ops are, and you're instructed to go kill as much as you can, either until you get locked up or you become a block legend, then we'll see where you end up in the rankings. Now, after you happen to kill one of your quote unquote ops because you're with the life, and of course, the first Shirak commandment is thou shalt not lack. After you kill the ops, the best way to celebrate, uh, well, the first way to celebrate is usually get on Twitter and Instagram, post up the murder weapon, place you killed him, and also confess, incriminate yourself all over the time, right? But after you do that, after you snitch on yourself, the next thing to do is to make sure you and your homies. Enjoy a coon pack. It really means you're getting high off the fucking gun smoke of you killing somebody or smoking. Listen, whatever the fuck it is, man. Anyway, this is obviously a shot from Pirico to the 600s because apparently, uh, OTF Nunu, who, which by the way, is a very fucked up thing. He really got killed. He was a promising rapper out of Chicago. Lil Dirk made it from his little camp, the OTFs. And um, it looks like OTF Nunu was up next. We saw uh, L.A. Capone. He got gunned down. And it's really a tragedy that the real reason, and nobody want to admit it, the real reason why the drill movement hasn't taken its place in hip-hop like other big prominent movements like the southern hip-hop movements which has broke off and established all type of other other things and even we don't see more counterparts to a chief keith to a little reese to a fucking uh little dirk it's because the crab in the barrel mentality people are killing each other right that's what's really keeping it from from actually progressing. That's when you can see somebody from New York drops a record and it kind of sounds like it's drill music. You see they prosper because they don't have that drill. <laughs> and drill does mean go do some dumb shit. That drill movement. So really the drill movement is what fueled all this music to be made. Birth all these guys who are popping on Twitter. Yet, they can't take it to the next level because what helped them to get there is preventing them from getting to the next level, right? Because you look at these guys, each of these guys got like over 60,000 Twitter followers. Yet, they can't do nothing with it. They can't really tour extensively. They're too big of a headache and they got to watch out for the ops. They can't get out of the, the state because they can't be lacking. But anyway, back to the story. So, this guy, Pirico, Puerto Rico, whatever his name, Vegeta. He is smoking on a new ski pack. He posted up to Twitter. This is obviously very offensive. Um, new ski or Nunu or OTF Nunu. He got killed way back. A lot of people are still mourning his death. OTF, that's a big loss for them. I'm not, and in no way does this mean that P. Rico probably is down or knows who killed OTF Nunu. But apparently he's enjoying it because he's smoking on, I mean, goddamn man, do these niggas even re-up? These niggas been passing around the same pack for the longest. God, do these niggas got a carton? But anyway, he posted up. He said he's smoking a new ski pack. Pretty disrespectful. I mean, I guess he's trying to buy some time. He's trying to um, just waste or gain some attention on social media before he gets to the square off with the Chirac Grim Reaper himself, Lil Reesey. Because you know Lil Reesey is at the end of the game. You Once you play Lil Reesey, the game is over. So... He's posting this up, and, and this is the real thing about it. 
Because a lot of people think when I do talk about or I do even mention shit by these Chirac rappers, at the heart of it, there is some good music because great music usually comes out of a struggle. The reason why most rappers come from a really tough background is because that fuels them, gives them the, the inspiration, experiences to make those good records, but then they try to get out of it. And even all these guys, they have, they have some potential. All of them have potential. But most of them don't really see it. Lil Durk, I give Lil Durk a lot of credit, even though he's the uh, 600 boss, so he's probably looking to kill P. Rico. So we'll hear some raps about that soon. But, oh, um, fucking Lil Durk, it seems that he wants to not get dropped like Chief Keith. He seems he wants to drop albums. He seems he wants to make money and help his guys out. So, and plus, you got to raise that fucking money for uh, uh, Kundo Number no. 9's bail money. And he's on his squad, too. So, we'll see what ends up happening. But, of course, P. Rico, Vegeta, and Chirac is dissing OTF Nunu after death. And, apparently, this is just a popular thing. They like dissing the dead to get the living angry. That the living could start turning their location on and FaceTiming them. That they could come and find them. That they could kill them, too. And then they could announce on Twitter that they did it. And who's up? It's just a Warren Chirac, man. Y you're probably listening like, this shit doesn't make sense. Don't ask me. It makes sense some way, somehow, when you're living in Chirac. Now, it's your boy DJ Academics. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe at I'm Academics on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm out.